function right. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. They asked me when I'm coaching right. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. Back at it again, man. Episode 271, Coach Class Pod. Continue like rating and subscribing. We say it every week because we're going drilling into y'all head at this yes. point. Pause. Um, and we got to give a big shout out to Eric Atkins, Go Cop, some um, a yep. daily deposits crew gear. I actually just bought the shirt. I bought the Say Less uh, deposit, deposit more, more this morning. Time. I was like, once I get paid, I'm grabbing one time. of them. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate you. Legendary episode, legendary stories you gave us. Um, Thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah, thank salute, you. man. I just want to say that was an excellent, you know, salute to, we always say salute to everybody that came on, but I mean, he came on, excellent uh, interview, um, and not just the interview, you know, talking before and talking after, I mean, it was just real chill, you know, had a great story. Um, you know, I like the most story. about, like, he was able to, um, he just gave full answers. You didn't have to, yes. some, sometimes you might have had another question, but he was, since he gave you such a full answer to it. You didn't even have to have Very that one. You could jump to something Thank else. You, yeah, dog. so it was fantastic. And, and I mean, all the best. We're going to keep supporting. Oh, yeah, of course. Of Absolutely. course, bro. Of course. And honestly, since it's going to be a boxer heavy week, I wanted to touch on what you just sent us. Like, you, this nigga Zay always coming through with the live, local, late breaking. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> Go ahead, yo. Yeah. Let him know what happened, yo. All right, man. So. I, I, all I know is my man Salute to my man Drew I'm gonna give him a shout out He watched the show oh. He sent it in shout the Shout out group, Drew then bro chat. Appreciate you He sent it in the group chat Cause I was in the middle Of mixing and moving About to come over here So I wasn't even On the socials like that But he put it in the group chat And it was uh, It was Caleb Plant man Yeah Slapping the fire At uh, Jamal Charlo Yeah Whew yeah. Not, 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 a, not a light slap Yeah no. He slapped the taste Out his mouth <laughs> And you got to think, it was it was a cell phone that was zoomed in, so the slap must have been crazy. Ooh. What do you think he said to him though? Like, I don't. I'm well, like he must have said something crazy because I wasn't listening and I, I could I wanted to follow up and see some more. Um, because I think, of course, you know, when it's that many people around, it's multiple angles. Is people who took a longer video because they must have yeah. been talking for a minute. So I know we're gonna see even more after this, but um, I think one of the things I heard uh, Caleb Plant saying as they were backing him up and all this stuff was going on after the slap was he was like don't ever put your hands around me again or something uh, like that he might have threw a boy in there yeah. which was <laughs> but but regardless yeah. like I don't honestly I don't I, think so Caleb I didn't see Plant any of that did, cause Caleb Plant I could tell from his haircut he knows some brothers bro I think like, he's married to a black yeah I don't think I don't think he would have said nothing crazy like that he, I think what happened was the Charlo twin cause you know they uh, from the way I see y'all talking in conferences or when you can confront people he might have said something slick to yo, and no, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, I, I heard. I think I heard Caleb Plant. If I'm not mistaken, because I ain't rewatch everything um, more than twice. But um, I think he said, "Don't ever put your hands around me like that again." I thought that's what he said, but the he voices is going shit back. out, bro. Honestly, Ooh. you gotta respect Caleb Plant for how he took that ass whooping against David Ooh. Benavidez. Like, yo, you knew he was tough. Listen, man, like, you know he's not scared. He's not a scary guy, bro. The reason it's worth talking about is because they in the same weight class. That That's going to be so. This can this could, this ain't that just could gossip, be big, bro. This could, this fight that happen, could happen, and this big, right here, bro. this right here is a moment to yeah, I mean, yeah, boost it up and get that money. You know, Plant already been in big fights and really not like each other. That's like some '90s really? shit, yo. Like, like, like I really don't like this man. We're gonna bro. get into this in a minute. Well, I want to I want to touch it yet, um, but. Terrence Crawford and uh, and, and uh, Earl Spence, you could tell they, they from the very beginning from they the first meeting. One thing I always said was they want to be best friends. Yes, yes. They, they, but they got to go to war. In the, in the interview, I mean, in because uh, I started watching the uh, joints. Oh, wait, and, 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 it's, and it's dope. Like that could be dope too because we know they're so competitive. They're gonna fight each other. But anyway, it's also good to have like real bad blood for some of these fights yeah. too. And this, the way he slapped him, you got to fight that man. Yeah. I know Jamal Charlo. It's a lot of stuff going on with him. And hopefully his mental health is is, is in the right space because I want to yeah. be because he's been looking bad lately. I don't want to get into too much stuff. There's been a lot of stuff in rumors. You seen he ain't been fighting in like years now. Facts. And in the WBCs, you know I'm all for yo. If a dude ain't fighting 365 days, you got to strip him. But they haven't yeah. stripped him. They said they had no timetable, so they must know something. But still, you still got to strip that person and give them a title Facts. shot when they come back. You can't hold yeah. the belt hostage. Yeah, but anyway, come on, bro. I hope I hope come maybe, on, bro. Maybe hopefully this will make it worse. 
because he when he got slapped, he didn't look as angry as you. You know how they be? Yeah, like he just looked kind of like at, like that shit probably was intimidating. He like, yo, this nigga slapped the shit. Or maybe out of he just going through. It's just. Another thing you never no, know. You I, never I forgot know. All the, uh, so background stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully, but hopefully this charge him up and and yeah. because this is go- they could probably charge pay per view for that. People gonna be interested. Oh, I pay. Yeah. I pay. And yo, sidebar, yo, you said uh, you want those angry fights, yo. Who was uh was it Gamboa and Isak Cruz? Like somebody was trying to kill somebody on the fight. Oh, Isak Cruz. He was the last Cruz fight. Was I don't fighting really do- somebody, yo. He yo. was like throwing only like. More haymakers than normal. Like, yo, I don't like him. Yeah. I, I don't like it, you. It seemed personal. It seemed like it was... I don't like you. Like, you, you know did some say, egregious shit to me, and I'm, I'm trying to kill you, bro. You know, I always say, yo, when, it, when you don't really know why it seemed like it's that personal... Oh, it's, you know it's, it's over. It's, it's a lot of times over yeah. woman. <laughs> it's usually over the woman, bro. <laughs> we don't know this, but... Say I don't it know. was my side piece. <laughs> it was my side piece. My side piece. Wow, uh, bro definitely was trying to kill him in there. But um, while we on the boxing news... Um, did you see that Pitbull Cruz called uh, Tank out again? He's been calling him out. Listen, I'm yeah. going to keep it real. This is the rumor, and I'm pretty sure because it makes some sort of sense because I think Tank, even though he knows it's a tough fight, I think he feels like he understands how to beat him better. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a showcase for Tank tomorrow. It is. They, it is. It's set up for, for Isak Cruz to win Ooh. and then to have a part two because it's going to be a pay-per-view. Because everybody said that was a tough fight, and then Tank Ham was legitimately hurt in that fight. Yeah. So I think he like, man, he's tough, but by that, you know, when a smart fight, Tank is a smart fighter. Like, yeah, he's he like the second fight because he got that power. He's he so like the skilled. second fight. I'm gonna beat him up, and I want to stop him. And and once I stop him in the rematch, it's yeah. gonna people gonna go crazy. Like, yo, he washed him, and some people was said hey, it could have been either. Way. Like, it's set up for that. It, yeah. Why you think? Why you think Cruz fighting tomorrow on the pay per view? Yeah. It's, it's, it's Y'all strategic. I like it, it But that's what you're supposed Showtime to do. Showtime better beef it up because ESPN been giving us nothing but quality for like mm. the last, like, what, two years? But Showtime, they be, yo, they have fights this year. They have, but their undercards be sketchy, bro. Like that, Them undercards tomorrow going to be nice. It's a, uh, oh, it is? Okay. It's the other dude. Um, He and Terrence Crawford came from, if I'm not mistaken. I know his, I can't think of his, man, I feel bad. But he's, he's the solid. The dude with the half haircut? No, it's the dude he's fighting. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah he looks crazy. Yeah, who is this guy? I don't, I don't know. Who is this man. guy? I don't know. Yeah. Who is but this guy? While we on it, the big fight. Oh yeah, is tomorrow. The biggest, bro. Did you see the weigh-in? No, nah, I didn't see the weigh-in. Hold on, hold on. Before we get to the weigh-in, did you see the press conference the day before? Yes, yes. It got heated. Yeah. Some of the some of the stuff. Sometimes you can watch them press conference. You be like, oh, they all kind of. I can tell they wanted to be a little more animated naturally, but I think it genuinely was getting yeah. a little. And them nerve setting in, sense. bro. Like, yo, we both nice. Like, this is the fight. And I'm just glad they doing it because, like, pause. Like, everybody is gonna have to fight the guy. Now, like, yo, it's no excuse. Yeah, but that's just been happening all year for the most part. It like, has. It has. All, this is this year. It has. They claiming Joshua Deontay at the end of the year. I'm that just, would be crazy. But we're going to stay on this fight right here because the, the press conference yeah. happened. I think Bo Mack getting tired of everybody calling him fat and stuff like that. He started, yeah. he cursed that yet. Derek James, something, shut the F up. Derek James talking, cracking jokes. The the people, the family and the friends in, the, in this, like, Terrence Cropper was talking to one of your mans, like, He's like, yo, it could get active in here. Like, yeah. y'all, and then he was trying to calm everybody down. He like, yo, like, because this has been building up for a long time. And, you yeah. know, according to things that we neither know, or allegedly know or have heard. Yeah, we don't know um, anything. Both sides got people. Th- allegedly, people. there's things that they get. people. There's, yeah, there's people, people out involved. there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> people yeah. involved. So you're like, yo, when black events happen, you know what I mean, we want this to be a successful event. We the ones that got to fight each other. We don't even hate each other. Yeah. It's everybody else want to hurt each other it's like let's let's keep it cool let's have this event let's show we can have this type of event let, let it be successful you know what i mean because we got a two-fight deal minimum yeah and this fight gonna be let's big, not let's bro. not make this a crazy situation because we we're gonna come back you know what i mean yeah. and make some more money and we don't want crazy money. we don't want this to be a nasty thing but yeah. the weigh-in happened they both in shape mm-hmm. they both look strong yeah um they had the the pre-weigh-in first and then the so they, I think Terrence Crawford technically missed weight the first time. This wasn't showing on the what's the name, and he came back and made it. He was like one forty six and three quarters. Earl Spence was one forty seven on a dot, um, and then they came out for the. It was a more of a ceremonial joint. They already knew that because when they came out, you can tell that they started rehydrating again. You know how when yeah, you, you yeah, hit the yeah, scale yeah. and you be like, yo, he mad dry, and they go yeah. right to drinking a, a Pedialyte yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah. after. You could tell they they had more energy because a lot of times, man, they be energy drained. They just trying to get to that weigh in. 
But you could tell they had a little bit of time. And it was cool to see it like that because it's like they get a little more time. Terrence Crawford was rapping uh, Warner Wayne songs. I thought he looked a little a little unusual yeah. compared to how he is. It, look, it was a little weird. I don't think, I'm not saying that means anything necessarily, but anyway, they look ready. I'm hyped. They both in dog, shape. I'm dogs. hyped for them all night, dog. They want to they get it in. I'm Earl, hyped for them all Earl night. Earl was talking to him like, thank I'm you for making this fight. Night. Yes. I am hyped for them all night. I still got Earl, though. I still got Earl. That's your final prediction? Earl. Yes. Earl Spence. Earl Spence. And I think he stops him. Ooh. I think he stops him. Because he's like an aggressive body puncher. So I feel like if he can get his range and his footing, he's going to frustrate him. And them body shots going to start weighing in. Because he's the type, like, once he get in, in the clinch. Like, remember, I ain't going, I can't remember the name of the fighter. But we was like, yo, he could be talented, but he's coached horribly. In that fight that we watched. Oh, and yeah, I was like, yo, yeah, he kind of yeah. remind oh, me of like. Man. Clearly, he won Earl level, but if he had a good trainer, he could be like that because yeah. he just kept going to the body. Was chippy. I gotta keep an like, eye on him too. Man. Yeah, because yeah. he was like that. His trainer anyway. But yeah, 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 yeah. he won a fight with no training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going in and getting cracked by the same punch. Yeah, but um, yeah, I, re- I got Earl. Um, but I do respect Terrence Crawford. But my litmus test for it was the Sean Porter fight. You already mm-hmm. know because I felt like they fought two different Sean Porters, if you will. I, Sean Porter father was like super intense dude all the time. Yeah. He's never Kenny stopped Porter. the fight. Yeah. He's like, yo, my son not healthy right now. He not even he not even in shape right now, yo. I could tell, yo. He yeah. you could tell because he had that disappointed look on his face. Like, yeah. bro, I told you. I think Sean Porter it. had just had a kid. I think he had yeah. a lady. I don't want to. And know, the podcast know. thing was going. And crazy. you could tell the pot. He was yeah. he started doing um because boxing. You got to be hundred. He started doing more and more. Got to fight. You could tell he wanted to transition. Yeah. Into commentating and broadcasting exactly. fully. And you could tell he had he had kind of a foot in the foot. I mean, he retired after that fight. Yo, 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 your your focus I mean? got to be hundred percent in there yeah. when you fighting a guy that caliber. Now, regardless, he did some good things in that fight to, to Bud. But Bud, you know, got to he knocked him out. He did. What, you know what I mean, yeah. you can't take that away from him. Um, because he did he did go in there. I mean, hey, he got in the ring with him. Yeah, you know I mean, and he was looking good at one point. So Fact. he got him out of there. So I give him credit for that. I'm not going to take away a lot. But I do think they fought. Sean Porter has said. Several times when I went in there with Earl Spence, I felt like I had to have everything. That was yeah. the guy they said everybody was yeah. running from. His father knows Earl. They know Earl Spence from coming up. I think his uh, Kenny Porter was the one that brought Earl to the gym for the for, the, for the famous, that's tough. For the infamous, whatever you want to call it, uh, sparring match with him and Floyd. And Floyd, you know, Earl allegedly oh, got busy allegedly, with him. Allegedly, he got I heard busy about with that. Floyd, and they kicked him out and they brought him back in. But um, I think Kenny Porter was the one that kind of did it on some sly stuff because I don't think they really knew. So it was kind of halfway sneaky yeah. to get his name out there. But anyway, um, uh, so but he said for for uh, Terrence, they kind of it was just a little different. And then he mm-hmm. got learned it while he was in the ring. But he said like you could t- that was the fight they honed in on Earl Spence. Like he was extremely serious for that one. But yeah, it is what it is. I think it's gonna be a. I think it's gonna be a. So who you still fight. got? Who you got? <sighs> My boxing mind. That wants to switch my initial opinion says that Terrence Crawford's overall abilities should get him the win for a lot of different reasons. Okay. Um, and mainly one of them is counterpunching. I think Earl more so recently has been on the technical stuff has been loading up on lefts mm-hmm. the jab I feel like he's been reaching on some of his jabs more so because I had to rewatch some older fights so it's like was he always doing that and I don't think he was always doing yeah. that for some reason he's like he's lunging in with that jab a little bit he's leaving his under part open he's getting caught over the uh, top with rights even though he's beating people up and been winning and he's been loading up in his car the easy it seems like to time his shots and you know yeah. Terrence Crawford can knock you out or hurt you with either hand and his counters are good but if Earl just Watch the Kel. Watch a lot of those yeah. fights right before. And he has excellent stamina. His jab, his basic boxing, and because for some reason is his narrative like he doesn't like he's a one dimensional fighter, which is crazy. Cap. Yeah, I'm talking Power about sway. the 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 his defense is way better than people give him credit for. Mm-hmm. Um, his jab is really good, and when he's quick with his one twos and not loading up, he'll catch you and then he'll, he'll put the hands on you. So my initial, I'm a person. More times than not, when I just go with my initial joint, um, just stick with it typically. So I'm going to go with Earl Spence. Mm-hmm. And I always said, if this fight gets late and Earl isn't hurt early, I think it can get ugly for Terrence Crawford. Yeah. Late. 
Yeah. Um, I think it can. And his sta- like I, I kept saying with Earl Spence, his stamina it's is crazy. wild, bro. Like when he was fighting Sean Porter, he he was still fighting in the twelfth round. You feel me? Like yeah. I'm All still his fights fighting. are like that. Yeah, I'm still fighting. The only bro. fight I was, but it was his first one after the accident. I think this is when they thought they was going to capitalize on him. Him and Danny Garcia in the pot. Oh, I do. That's remember the first. That. I, I was at the that. fight. I do remember that. I was in. I was in Dallas at the fight, and I was just like, just the first time I seen him look kind of tired mm-hmm. late in the fight, and then he recouped. But I was like, I never saw that before. But it was the first time after the accident, and everything. The Ugas fight didn't fight and didn't look like that. So, yes, no, he beat him up badly. The only thing I'm concerned about him, um, uh, not. Uh, Fighting in a long time, he's had mm-hmm. a longer layoff. Yeah, because um, I can't even so remember. It, was it? What is it over? This would all. Yeah, this would all boils down to Earl for the first four rounds. If Terence Crawford doesn't hurt him, which is very possible, mm-hmm. especially with some of maybe ring rust and him. You know, he can be counted, especially early. Typically, Earl gets he can get caught with a shot too really good early, but Terence gets hit with shots too. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. After the first round, round, first four to five rounds, if he doesn't catch him and get him hurt, I don't see him breaking Earl down. Yeah. And that's when I think if that doesn't happen, which can happen, this is why it's such a pick em fight. Yeah. I just see, I, I think it can get ugly. I think yeah. it can get ugly because, um, I mean, Earl just breaks anybody down. Yeah. Bigger fighter, smaller. And exactly. he's not bigger and than that's him. And that's a testament yeah. to that, um, that Sean Porter fight again. I hate to keep going back to that, but he was hitting Earl in that. Mm-hmm. And you know he got that unorthodox nasty like I'm gonna just get in and get like some weird mm-hmm. body shots or like he, just be annoying and I'm gonna have the the energy to go the whole fight because yeah. that's one of Sean Porter's highest attributes was his uh, his stamina. Yeah, you feel me up until the yeah. Terrence Crawford one. That's why I'm like eh. there's things that tell me I probably should pick Bud, but my initial instincts are for some good re- like them first four to five rounds is gonna be very telling. We're gonna yeah. find out a lot. I'm gonna stick with the initial pick. I'm gonna say Earl Spence. And I think it's going to be a great fight. I think they're going to try to hurt each other. And I think Bud doesn't want to. I think it could be a late round stoppage. Mm. I'm going to roll with that. I'm going to roll yeah. with that. Um, like like 9 or 12? But if I'm surprised, I'm, I wouldn't really be that surprised. But I'm going to go with that. I'm going to stick with that. That was my initial joint years ago. Things have happened in between. But that's what I'm going to roll with. I know Bud has grown into the division more and all of that. So things can switch up. But that's what I'm going to roll with for now. I respect and it. And I wouldn't mind. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. I'm just looking for a great fight tomorrow. You know, we, you know where you are tomorrow. I am hyped. I'm already ready for tomorrow. I am hyped. Like, yo, shout out Cuzzo, too, because he going to roll with me over to the oh, crib. Yeah, like, yo, yeah. we hype. It's going to be fun tomorrow. We it's hype, dog. It's going to be a fun night. Yeah. And while we still in the boxing vein, did you see that uh, Keyshawn Davis called out Frank Martin? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How, how you feel about that? That's going to be a good fight. I think Keyshawn Davis might beat him up. That last Frank Martin fight I saw, I'm like, yeah, granted, Keyshawn hasn't fought anybody major, he so maybe he looks anybody great. Yeah, Frank Martin. I'm not saying he won't be, because you know how big I've been on Keyshawn yeah. from the go. I, I told John, I was like, yeah, I was peeping him before, I think before he turned pro. I yeah. was telling everybody. Um, yeah, and I, I was like, he's like going to start beating all these stuff. dudes. Yeah, I was like, he's yeah. going to start beating all these dudes up. Everybody, everybody like now, but... I've been watching some fights. There's some stuff he... Sometimes you got to get somebody to bring certain things out of you, so maybe he need, Maybe that's the right opponent to bring another yeah. level out, but he's he's like, nah, I beat you up. I'm like, I don't got him just beating Frank Martin. He be, only, that's only, a t- only Frank Martin has fought a few... That last guy Frank Martin fought, because a lot of people don't watch a lot of boxing, mm-hmm. he's not a scrub. Okay. Like, that was a solid See, that's why I was fighter. confused. Like, I didn't know you were like And that. you're not going to beat every... Floyd didn't beat every... There's, there's dudes with... I told you about the one dude, I think it was Jesus something. He gave... Until he got tired and Floyd got him out of there... There's dudes with names you don't. A lot of people who don't watch boxing don't even know yeah. that have given really good fighters some interesting and tough fights. Like, so I'm like that. That didn't sway me because honestly, that Keyshawn Davis fight, he wasn't looking that impressive until the end. Yeah, the last fight. Yeah, he usually ends so up stopping happens. somebody type stuff. Yeah. yeah. So these things like we. That's why I, I don't want Keyshawn to think I'm too big. I'm gonna dismiss you. I ain't. No, you gotta fight that man. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, a, a great fight. Y'all need the upper level. Don't try to build that for years. We we passed all of that. Yeah, what's get the name? With him. Frank Martin is already twenty six or seven or something yeah, like that. Yeah, get with him. Keyshawn is in his tw- like, and you get already trying to pass. Get that fight going. Yeah, man. and if you leave, even one of y'all lose, y'all still got a lot of career left mm-hmm. where you could come back sharper, and it could be yeah. crazy. And you know, yeah, he, man. Keyshawn, I'm rooting for him heavy. I like Frank Martin, so it ain't like I know him personally, but mm-hmm. I like Frank rolled up on him and said, "Yeah, man, I'm not with all the talk. You know, what I'm yeah. talking about. I'm not get- with. You're saying <laughs> I'm not with all that tough stuff. No, I'm, I'm talking like about. That. <laughs> I'm like that." <laughs> My man was dead serious, bro. <laughs> you can see it in his face. I'm like that. That's yo. Was hard. And last but not least, yo, we got to recap, yo. Did you get a chance to catch that Anoe uh, Fulton fight? <sighs> bro. 
Bro. I, I know, I told you, I said I was peeping more stuff before. And I was like, I know a lot of people were thinking it's coming. I said, I, I knew he's stopping him. Now, I had See, a new we, stop- we all called a new but it was like, usually I, when a guy's coming up and we. I had a, a new stopping him. I said, I said, everybody building it up like that. And I like Fulton, but I said, he gets hit too much. He's not yeah. a slick, super defensive fighter. He's a really good boxer, and but he doesn't have enough power to keep a newy off of him. I said yeah. he gets hit to a little. When you don't have that much power, you got to have Floyd. You have an excellent type of defense and be an outbox. I said he gonna get hit with too many shots. Now what I didn't predict was he wasn't going to be competitive. Yeah, that's, I think that's gonna what com- I think he's going to get I, caught being competitive. Yeah, he's that's caught one of the things changes. I was raised to say like. That might have been one of the most one-sided fights I've seen in a minute outside of the Jerron Ennis Via. But at least Via was, like, fighting back. Like, I was like, yo, look scared after the first round. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I would say the only round that may have been even... I I just... I watched it the day it came out. Like, because it it happened at, like, 8 a.m. that morning. I watched it when I got home from work. Shout out Black to uh, uh, Tavik Clothing because he actually was talking about it on Twitter. Mm. And I'm like, I got to go back and watch. You feel me? And I watched. I'm just like... This nigga look scared, bro. Like, this man looks scared. It hurt for me to see him look scared. Like, yeah, man, I was like, come on. We should have. We should have <laughs> knew it was going to get crazy when Anoe came out to like the classical like anime villain theme. Like, bro, I'm like, this look like this about to get crazy. And then I'm like, I don't know if the laws are different or something like that in Japan, but Fulton came out to like some like reggae tone sounding kind of song, and I'm like, bro, you about to fight a dog, bro? Like. Yeah. I'm thinking to hear some like Chief Keef or some like Ultimate <laughs> Philly type stuff. Like, and I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. And he came out with the rat tail. I'm like, yo, he might be shook right now. He might be in his I head. I told you when they was complaining about the hand wraps, that's what really sealed it for me. I said, oh, yeah. No disrespect to them because I still want I still want him to come back, win and stuff. But I was like, I think they might be a little shook. You know? And the crazy thing is people starting to really capitalize on that. Uh, like you always call it out. That that straight right or left to the body. He kept throwing the straight left to the body. I told just you, just cracking him. Bow, bow. That punch has always been in the and game just, technically, but Floyd really, yeah. really. If I remember Andre Ward said, Andre Ward said, yeah, I mean, I got that from Floyd. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. And it's an effective punch. It stop you right in your track. It hits you. It take your breath. Yeah. Like it's a imagine somebody just sticking, just hit yeah. you right here. And bro, I think I think he was so it kind of scared him early uh-huh. because technically. Height wise, length wise, he was the bigger fighter, and he's like, yeah. "How's this dude beat me up with the jab?" To me, that to me, he's the taller fighter. But I said this another thing. Where I was like, people keep doing to they. He's taller, but they were the same size. Yeah, man. I know which name was moving up, but I keep telling everybody, "Yo, these smaller weight classes." When they be like, "He, he's a, a champion in this many divisions," yeah. I'm like, "Yo, it don't matter until it start being separated by five pounds all yeah. these three and four pounds like these dudes yeah. be this when you sub one um sub 130 y'all all the same size to me man and Thanks. you could low-key tell like, from annoy's legs because when uh, uh fulton went out there he looked mad skinny like yeah. his legs was skinny yeah. as i don't know what this man like look like, like they just, they the same size straight bro. tank like, like a little stocky yeah. dude i'm like yo that could get in bad for you bro well, well speaking of that yes you see they was trying to throw i think it's just using names to help build up Fighters, this is how it happened. Because remember, Pacquiao was like yeah. two weight. He went in the same weight class as Floyd was, so they started trying to build up the names together. Yeah, people acting like it can't happen. This that fight could happen a I couple years like, down the line. Yeah, it's gonna be is. Like, It'd be a new like, versus Yoda's? Tank. It could what was happen. that? One twenty six. One twenty. One uh, new numbers at like one twenty. One twenty. They one twenty. They was light as shit. One twenty two and Tank is one thirty yeah. five. Yeah, it's thirteen. But we've seen. Listen, but Jam- Tank is Jam- 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 for that one forty. So Jamel's yeah, I guess you're right. Up. If the tra- if the if the power translates, Jamel jumping up fourteen pounds to fight yeah. Canelo. Like it, these things happen. Two weight classes, three. Well, that that's why I don't like them smaller division. I think that's like might be three weight cl- three weight classes. With yeah. The, but like that, I mean, that's what I'm saying like that fight. It's not as super ridiculous as, as you as you may think that can happen. And we all know, you know. I mean, Tank gonna do business. Yeah, if, if it happens, and Tank is like I don't think naturally it's like now, uh, like one thirty five type. Yeah, he weight. could fight at one forty yeah. if he wanted to though. He he beat people up at one forty. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, he could so fight like, at one forty. So like I mean, but but if that money right, he gonna yeah. stay at that one thirty five. Yeah, stay at that. <laughs> That'll be crazy. He got to fight yo with the throw out, bro. Tank got so many big. When fights he got there, game, yo, he gotta yeah. really come out there and just knock yo out in Japan. 
Yo, that's crazy. Knock him out in Japan, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Nah, he ain't gonna fight him in Japan. Yo, the sickest part, though, that's scary about Inoue, it's like... He might be like on Dragon Ball Z, like a uh, uh, Dragon Ball, uh, one of them androids. Like <laughs> as soon as some one like minor discrepancy happened, he automatically changed. And like his He's shots smart. was like crazy. He's very smart. He's very smart I'm like, yo, this dude can really a lot of fight. power. You can tell his footwork is good. His timing is good. Really good. He's not rec. He's he's a really good fighter. Yeah, really good fighter. And when he smell that blood in the water, he yeah, gonna go yeah, get it. Because once he knocked him down that first time, he's like, I'm I'm not I'm I'm putting yeah. my foot on the gas now. I'm about yeah. to kill this boy. Yeah. Him and Tank, if he put on weight correctly and stuff like that, and Tank's kind of st- like that could be a fun fight as long as it lasts. But you know, yeah. Tank, we always rolling with Tank stretch. Oh yeah, we always rolling body, with Tank you know? though. We always rolling with Tank. Yeah. Um. So I want to uh, the one of the big news stories of the week was uh, it was unfortunate because it's like wow, yo, and it's such a rare event, and of course to happen to somebody, you know, uh, son as big as you know LeBron, like Bronny. Oh, that shit is scary, bro. Having cardiac. Going to have he said that he had cardiac arrest um during a, a training session for USC and it's just like I hope you are right. You know, that's yeah. what's so tough about it is um even in recovering, it's just like do you depending on how much information, because we don't have the information or, mm-hmm. but they only know best, it's like, does he play basketball again? Yeah. Like there's a lot of that, yeah. that's one of the things, there's a lot of pressure put on his shoulders yeah. and it's a lot going on. It's, and it's just like I we, first of all, just before, I'm gonna let you like wish him the best, yo, cause that's crazy, man. You can see him in the yo, whole family. Up to the whole family, yo. With the SPs, he going to USC. Everybody was looking beautiful. The family looked amazing. Yeah. And it's just like, dang, like, that's how life can just, but just like that. You know what I mean? See, my thing is, like, a lot of people be going off about the, like, vaccine and everything like that. But more so, a lot of people don't realize, like, that first variant of COVID, they said if you get that motherfucker, like, yo, you literally might have, like, long lasting, like, they didn't know the law, like, like, implications down the line. Man, we don't know. You feel me? And it's a lot of weird stuff happening like that. You see all these celebrities like getting. And I'm like, they look healthy. They it look be, fit. Yeah, it could be genetics. It, it could, could be, be genetics. Sh- yeah. I don't know if stress because it's a heart attacks and stress. I don't know. Maybe stress. I'm not. I'm yeah, not, and that kid is in that. elite shape. But they, there are things where people who are in elite shape they have some heart stuff that happens. It, it's yeah. it's a, it's so much. You just hope he's all right because, like I said. The big announcement, USC. Um, he just going out there. There's big plans and big things that were planned for this. LeBron been talking about hooping with him, you know. Hopefully that you know pressure like that. It's a lot. Yeah. He's like, I'm going wherever his team he going, and we just all thinking about that, all thinking about that. And they just like I said at the SPs, and then this happened. That's how life can hit you fast. They said he's doing okay. We hope he just, just got to pray up, yo. That's scary, yeah. yo. Cardiac yeah. arrest is not no joke, yo. Like that's scary, bro. And that's yeah. it. I'm just praying for the family because I couldn't imagine being yeah. like a pops, yeah. like yeah. really dealing with that. Pops, or his mom, mom, brother, sister, all brothers, them. sisters. Right. Like it's just. Well, sister. Yeah, sister. Yeah, yeah like, that. that's crazy, crazy bro. It's crazy. So all the best. Yeah, prayers up to the James yeah. family, bro. Absolutely, that shit is man. ultra sad, dog. Yeah. Man. Well, to transition into some slightly funny stuff, but it's like, whoa. Yeah. On another sport. We sports heavy tonight. but Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We going crazy. Did you see what Sean Payton said about, like, the offensive coordinator? Was, I think it's the offensive coordinator of the uh, the Jets. No, what did he say? He was just like, I, he was like, right, so everybody's like, and this makes sense because he even alluded, he said it basically, you know how everybody was on Russ behind about how bad the Broncos were last year. He deserves yeah. a lot of blame for that. But you also, there was times when the coaching staff didn't know how to call a timeout time. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was weird, bad last yo. year. Yeah, they sucked ass, bro. Sean Payton called out, like he was like, I'm like, because um, basically he's trying to get some of the heat off of his guy because he there, he's trying to restore the confidence and stuff. But he was like, yo, he was like, yeah, y'all, everything on Russ and this and that. He just said, there was some horrible stuff. Basically, I'm, you know, I'm paraphrasing. Um, He's like, and that was one of the worst coaching jobs ever seen. Oh, damn. And they usually don't call each other out like they that. They don't call yeah, each other out. Yeah, not the NFL, like, coach dudes, yo. Like, nah. <laughs> yo. <laughs> and then Robert, I think Robert Sala, that's the coach of the Jets. Man, trying to take your job. He came out. He's like, so they, there was a back and forth. It's like, wow, he called another team out and a, and a former coach. I'm like, dang, are you really going hard for Russ? Pause. It's like, yeah, like, yeah. Boy, that was crazy. But no, no, no. We yeah. had so many yeah. buzz moments. And I don't do that video there, but judging. that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> My fault. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, that was me on that one. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, he was. I'm like, man, uh, like, so he's trying to restore. Um, Sean Payton is an excellent coach. He's smart. He knew what yeah. he was doing. But like to call another coach out like that. That was crazy, dog. Like, yeah, they don't usually do that. It yo, was t- out of normal. I haven't watched like sports like shows. Like I don't. It's been a, probably a couple weeks like that. But I actually turned on, and that's how I found out. It wasn't even like like 
Twitter nothing like that. I was like, oh snap, yo, he went. Yeah. He was going in on the coach. I was like, this is yeah. crazy, dog. Like, yeah. so. Yeah, you know, but they got to they got to play each other this year. I think I'm not mistaken. That'd be crazy. That's what makes it tough. They got to yeah. play each other. And he's just gonna out coach them and just be like, I told you guys. Yeah, if they cook the Jets, yo, that's gonna be yeah. crazy. I told you guys that guy's <laughs> trash. So wait for them pro, uh, yeah. press conferences, yo. Yeah, big uh, news in our division as well. And low key, I'm kind of granted in no way, shape, or form what I, I, I uh, root for anybody in our division, but it's like. Since they kicked us when we were at our worst, I want to beat the Bengals at their best. Like, I hope Joe Barrow didn't, like, tear some crazy stuff in his leg or uh, ACL, Achilles-type situation. But the non-contact, I just fell down and I can't get up. So when they aim low, you go high? That's what you're doing, Mike? I just want to I just want to be like, yo, y'all. They was real nasty last year when Lamar went down. Like, they was talking like this. They, they, act, like, they act like if Snoop didn't just go over the top, that's they saying. wouldn't you have lost. They wouldn't have lost. I respect it. Yeah, because that's, that's what the niggas that really win do. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like, yo, we don't, we don't need I, I, to I kick a nigga it. while they down. Like, y'all, y'all niggas weasel y'all way to the chip. Like, if Lamar was there, they already know what's up, yeah. bro. With that receiving core, with everybody. And now we got weapons. I want to beat them at their best. Because they're going to be like, y'all had X, Y, Z, and Joe Barrow was hurt. Like, nah. So you saying he really hurt? I don't know, dog. Like, I mean, we may, we may get some points. It's a, it's a bad injury or not. Achilles, a strain. But I'm going to go left with it. Mm-hmm. What if he's capping? It's possible. To get that. I mean, he's going to get it back. But what if he's like, yo, I feel a little... I'm not coming back because I heard this is kind of. Oh, I'm not coming they didn't back pay him yet. until I get paid. I didn't know they didn't pay him yet. What do you think if he's doing that? I respect it because they all should be, so should be paying people. The NFL make a lot of money, yo. And, and he's sit out, right? Let's, I'm not saying this is true, but what if that's the thing? And let's just say, you know, are they going to slander him like Lamar? They would, never, they, would, they, they would never slander him like Lamar. We know why. <laughs> we know why. They would never slander a Macaulay Culkin, the healthy one. <laughs> The healthy uh, home alone. He probably won't have to, because I think the Bengals historically have been a cheap franchise. Mm. Even though he's supposed to be like that and he should get his money. And you know what? Another reason he does deserve his money though. This could be a theory. Mm -hmm. And we're going to slide into another topic. But he like I'm gonna hold out possibly because you saw Justin Herbert, who's done nothing as far as postseason wise. Just became the richest player. Why yo? The richest contract annually. Why yo? He's nice. I'm he not going to play him. He's nice. And the market dictates that it should kind of happen. But I've, I'm getting a little tired with hearing he's top five, top four, How? top six. I'm like, he's got to prove more. He can play. Wow. Yeah, he can play. But... He got, bro, he blew one of the biggest, if not the biggest, playoff lead in history last year. Craziness. Now, granted, it's a team thing, but also, like, you were the quarterback of that team, yo. I'm just like, yo, the fanfare with him, I, want, I don't want him to be a bum. I love when great quarterbacks play great. It just makes the league better. But I'm like, y'all got to slow down on yeah. this guy just a little bit. Like, let him win. A, they get on. I want to keep bringing it back. But they always talk about Lamar and all of his lack of playoff wins. I'm like, this Lamar man hasn't won a game yet. And he's only been in the playoffs yeah, once. Lamar is way better than and him. And he doesn't even have an MVP. Like, yeah. like, like, Lamar guys, is way better than let's him. Let's just take it easy, yo. Lamar is way better than him. Let's take it easy, Jalen Hurts yo. is way better than him. Let's take it easy, yo. Come on, bro. What are we even talking about? Let's take it easy, Honestly, yo. Joe Barrow is way better than him, yo. Let's like, take it easy. Josh Allen is way better than him. Listen. Trevor Lawrence might Trevor be Trevor Lawrence came <laughs> back on him. Like, Trevor Lawrence might I be remember I was. It was my birthday yeah. weekend. Salute to my lady. We, we went to D.C. for the weekend or whatever. Yeah, I mean, had a fantastic time. But I remember... It was either before we was about to go back, about to go out or something, or we came back. I think it was probably, no, before we went out to, oh, we went to a nice restaurant. But tough, anyway, before tough. we went out, I, I think, yeah, they um was coming back. And, oh, no, we went out or something like that. Then they came back or something. We came, it was crazy. All I know is it was crazy. It was like, yo, they just came back and beat these dudes after they was getting cooked. Yeah. I said, this is like, wild, mm. Joe. But segueing, we on these quarterbacks. Lamar, man, did you see him? He was like. He, was, he looked mad pumped. He was like... I don't even want to talk it up too much. You know I'm always humble until yeah. the season starts. I've always been like that. Yeah. But I'm excited, bro. Did you see I'm how... Excited. He's excited. Did you see him on the interview? Yeah. He was like... He said, this year, just maybe... He said, maybe it's my sixth year. Maybe I'm, I'm feeling... It just feels real different around here. Yeah. He said, maybe I just... It always is like this, but I, it's my sixth year, and I'm just feeling it now. But everybody was... You no, know, everybody was thinking, yeah. it feel different because Greg Roman not there. Yeah. No Greg and Roman. I got weapons, yo. Gregory not there, and you got weapons. And I got money. <laughs> and you're not going to be running dives up the middle, mm-hmm. yo, all game. Like, 
in a in a like oh we got to do like a crazy play action right. type situation that might be the only scenario if it's a playoff game where you got to get these yards yeah everything is closed off but we was running him up the middle like he was fucking Gus Edwards yo that, that was shit was crazy. pissing me off yo you're not supposed to have double digit or, or design run plays for your quarterback in the up the middle I don't care middle. how great running running he is yo that's hey, crazy they thought this nigga was Gus Edwards yeah but he he looked his spirits look high. Everybody look high. So far, they haven't. They've had a couple pup uh, list players or whatever, but nothing seemed like it's too shit. Yeah. Hopefully, that carry on. I would love to see them at full strength. Listen, if it's not the Giants winning at all, yeah, I rock with cousin Lamar. Yeah, cousin Lamar and, bro. and them boys. You Please, know, like Lamar. I said, the Please. red and the blue for the Giants make purple. So if it ain't, it ain't yeah. the Giants. It's definitely them. But if, when they go together, you know. Y'all yeah. see how it was last year when oh, we yeah, got yeah, the, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was always sad. trying stories, but I, 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 call, I, I called you first, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I was like, before I have to endure this slander on the podcast, let me just no, Mike please was, now. Mike was, I was early when I was driving back from my people's crib. Like, fuck. He was honorable, but he also was trying to. Yeah, trying I, I, to I, I wanted to ease it off a little bit. I didn't want the pain, yo. He was trying to put some water on the flames a little quick. Mike was slick with it, yo. Because you could tell he was on the middle. Oh, yo, I'm pissed off, but yo, it is what it is. Call me with the swiftness, man. I hit the cigar. I was had the cigar right after you know I had the post and everything. I had mad people. Nah, but that's so good. Yo, Nick, Nick like, hit me yo, was like, like we didn't, we didn't think. Shout out Nick, yo. Yeah, shout yeah. out Nitty Gritty Podcast too, yeah, bro. Absolutely. Well, not podcast. Nitty Gritty Sports, sports Talk. talk. Yeah, we know. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. yeah. And, but um, I, I really feel like we 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 could really do some things this year, bro. Yeah. And I, the thing I hate to get like overly like like zodiac sign with it, but yeah. he's a Capricorn like us, bro. Lamar Jackson is, oh, is? yeah, and. We love to be slept on and then show people otherwise. This could be that time. If he could stay humble and win a chip, they will are fucking you, hate him. Are you, are you predicting MVP season? I'm predicting. Go on record. Um, I'll go on record. If he if contingent upon health and not even of the intangibles. Mike. Contingent upon his health. Yes, MVP. There we go. Yes, yo. MVP. Yes, MVP. There we go. Yeah. Easy MVP, too. There like, go. where it's going to be like, they're going to try to compare, like, somebody like, Josh Allen or something like that, and it's just gonna be like, yo, it's, it's no comparison. Just look at the numbers, bro. A lot of the time, when it's Lamar Jackson, for some strange reason, they don't look at the numbers. Imagine if fucking Justin Herbert did what he did in his MVP season. He would be solidified as the greatest quarterback of this era, period. If Josh Allen did that. Well, of course, Patrick Mahomes is out here. Pat, no, no, uh, you, outside of Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes, I was is like, like, I, Pat Mahomes is like Steph Curry. I still he felt, don't really count. Like I he, still feel like uh, Lamar is the most talented, but I know what's the name? Andy Reid with a really talented quarterback makes, like I said, Michael Vick had his best passing year with Andy Reid. He just makes, he elevates yeah. everybody's level of play. Yeah. But, hey, that's what, that's what what's the name has, and he has weapons, and he looks amazing. So I have to, I had to eventually after that, especially the last Super Bowl, I was like, he got. I gotta separate him yeah. until somebody else comes in. Pat but was, then after that, it's yeah. definitely Lamar. Yo. How the hell did we forget Pat though? When we was talking about the quarterbacks that are better than Justin Herbert, yo, <laughs> because we, we forgot the number we, one. Because no, we separate him. <laughs> yeah, yo. we, we got to separate we had a bunch him out of respect them, right uh, now. Yeah, what, yeah. So what is that like? Seven quarterbacks ahead of him right now? Yeah, he got to prove something. Right? Yeah, yo, we didn't even mention uh, Jalen Hurts, who was going crazy Jaylen, in the Super Bowl Jaylen, and last year. Yeah, he would have been yeah, an MVP yeah. if he didn't. No, I said Jalen Hurts seconds. I, oh, I said okay, Jaylen okay, Hurts. okay, okay. But uh, yo, uh, uh, what's his name on the Vikings when they was on when they was hot on their hot streak? I'm like, eh, you could argue it. What was the Cousins? I know he fell off. He fell off at the end of the season. Let's move on. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But I mean, what did what did what did Justin Herbert accomplish? Like they won like ten games in a row in the beginning Justin of the season. Justin Herbert's better than him, but okay, got you, got right, you, yeah, 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 he got is. You, got you. I'm just saying he's that mid level to me. Like he's not that much better than him. Nah, nah, you just talk. Nah, yeah, the end of the season better. pissed you off. All right, yeah, my bad. Have you uh? Well, the segue from sports just a little bit. Normally I don't go touch on these topics too crazy, but this was so wild this week or the last couple weeks. Have you, uh, what's it, the girl, Carly Russell or whatever? I didn't. I didn't. What happened? You know the chick um, that said she, they were saying oh, she the was fake. kidnapped? Oh, the fake. Okay. And then it finds out she wasn't kidnapped. Yeah, that's and mad she weird, admitted it. bro. I ain't going to lie, but I don't. I wasn't paying too, because I was like, huh. But at first, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, shoot. That's not cool. You know, because sure, you know, there's a there's a a lot of black women have been coming up missing and have been underreported. Yeah, no, no, it's definitely crazy. So when I did catch catch when I was like, whoa, 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 when I just seen the headline, I was like, yo, that's that's you seeing people posting this stuff. I'm like, this is 
it's unfortunate, another unfortunate, but I was like, she's actually getting some coverage, so hopefully they catch her. When I started, I ain't gonna lie. Some people may or may not like it, but when I first started hearing some of the details, off rip, something just didn't yeah, feel yeah, right. Yeah, whenever they sound like I ain't gonna say how I was mm-hmm. talking to, and they was believing it fully, but I was like, I'm t- this is before more details coming out. I was like, yo, I don't know. Something does not yeah, it just don't feel right. right. Yeah, it just sounds like Then another day goes by. More room, and I was like, something. I saying it the whole way until eventually, through a statement through the lawyer, she was like, This is a hoax. Why, though? I just be confused about what's going on these days, bro. Like, I be mad confused. Like, what was the. Yo, would have wrote a fake book? <sighs> Man, it's crazy. And. And, and then that takes the credit away from the people that really go through stuff like the that. The mom was up there talking about. She was fighting for her life, mentally, physically, this, that, and the third. And they all, like, I'm like, oh, They, my they gosh. all brought they, into the whole... I was, the whole time, I'm like, yo, I feel like this ain't right. I was like, something ain't right. I was like, are they digging a deeper hole? And then, bam, I'm like, what's so unfortunate is, like, I said before that, it's like, yo, so many... It's, it's, we've heard about, hear about the cases locally and stuff. And it's like, when black women be coming up missing a yeah. lot, unfortunately. And we they all... SBL talks amongst a lot of us, like, be like, yo, this is unfortunate. It don't get more coverage. And the, imagine the ones that we don't even hear a whisper about. So yeah. it's like, for you to do that, it's like, she got to get something that to happen. I think she's been charged with misdemeanors. And I'm like, you got you to gotta do something. You yeah. can, they had manpower. They spending this, they spending Honestly, that. Honestly, I feel like male or female, if you lie about something that happened, yo, you should probably get the time of the person uh, that you accused of doing these crazy things or, like, the situation. It's disrespectful to the real to the people women that, that really, that really went really, through yeah, it. Yeah, 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 like, yo, it's people that really went through that. And, and, and the thing is, this is what really had me even cause bring the topic up today because it really had me like, come on, yo. So the mugshot, because I probably wouldn't even brought up, the mugshot came out, and she, like, smiling in the mugshot. Yeah. I'm like, man, was, yo, yo, get, yo, y'all got to give her something, yo. Yeah. 30, right. 60, something, yo. Sit her down, find something. No, I agree happen, with you yo. 100%. Because that's crazy, yo. Yeah, to lie about something like that is wild. Because then what happens, a trickle effect can happen. <clears throat> you know, if another black woman, something happened, come up missing, then people don't want to, you know what I mean? It's just like, don't do not do that, yo. Don't play like that. Yeah. I don't know what you had going on, but, like, that's not right, yo. Like, yeah, that's not right, man. So, yeah, we just salute to you know, and we hope you know anybody who else this happens to. Hopefully, they can get the help that you know that it really may happen to. You know, I, I want to say uh, hopefully no, this never happens. To them, but that's life; things do happen. Hopefully, yeah. they get the help and stuff they need, man. Because this is that's crazy. It's unfortunate, yeah. Yeah, and um, with a, with a whole sidebar, how do you feel about uh, because the generations are changing, and I I really it's some stuff I don't understand. How you feel about things like this? So I just left the restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a date to show up, and apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking with this girl for two weeks, trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. You know, I've done everything to be just the kind of guy that would value somebody's time. Like, I just... I'm just looking for my person. I'm just looking for the one that, I guess, is out there for me. I mean, I want to be somebody's husband someday, father. I'm trying to do everything that's right. I just get stood up. Like, my feelings didn't even matter. Sitting there eating a meal by myself. And realizing that nobody even cares about people anymore. Like, alien dating shouldn't even be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard to find somebody. It shouldn't be this difficult to fall in love. To be... How do you feel about these type of things, eh? So this is one of the things that we actually have spoken about all three, yeah, three all, of us. All, all, all enjoy. Yeah. And we're not going to get too agreed. We, so can't, we got know. it. You know, we keep it real on the regular part, but yeah. there's also another layer. So what I'll yeah. say is yeah. this. Uh... Hopefully that young man <laughs> who looks like a variant of Ice Cube yeah. from Universe, I think I said 3557. Yeah, that's the, the bootleg Ice Cube. Hopefully uh, he can find somebody for himself one day. Yeah. Listen, I don't know because somebody threw out that he may have a condition. I don't know. No, if he has a condition, my fault. But like, I don't know. But for face value, you can't. But I see people without conditions doing similar activities. Like my thing is like, it's almost 
what's the word I'm looking for? Not sociopathic, narcissistic to me. To like, because first off, that wasn't a live, right? That was a pre. I, I, I think it's so. Recorded. So if you record yourself, you got to run it back, rewatch it, and you make sure you got. I don't know what's going on no more, bro. Like, that shit is always going to be weird to me. Like, I know people going to be mad, but, like, to record yourself in a time of despair, watch the clip to make sure it was effective enough, then post it is insanity to me. I'm going to keep it 100 to, to, to a certain extent. Like, if you don't have anything, like, like a condition of any sort. Yeah, like what? That's wild, my guy. Yeah, like what? Tone it down. Calm, yo, calm, calm the emotions and, down. And yo, and listen, if somebody stood him up and he yeah. came and planned it, that's wrong. Nigga, I've been stood up. But that's that is wrong. How yo that's wrong. But going on the we yo. talked about this numerous uh, times, yo. She, like she texts me. And take a deep you breath. Through. Don't turn that front camera on, yo. yo. Relax. And yo. like, yo, the my thing is like the mental process, if you're of sound mind. You rewatched it, and you thought this was a good idea. And then it was people. It was so many people backing it. Like that's the way it go to go about having your feelings hurt. How about you t- text her? I'd rather you be like on some soft shit, not soft shit, on some like emotional type stuff. And you text the girl like, "Yo, you hurt my feelings, yo. I thought you rocked with me. Like that's cool though. Like you feel me? Like say that to her. Like what do you want, fans? Well, well, I'll say this. He got him. I will say this. Well, I will say this before I get to All that my point. homegirls said they feel bad, but this is not the way you handle it. So I'm like, damn. Maybe. I'm going to say this. I told you. I Except was- my one homegirl. Shout out her. You got to get on the pod soon because you a real you a real one, yo. Because someone was like, you go. Somebody was like, it's funny. I was, <laughs> it was Rich. Rich wasn't like Kate before, but Rich was like, I can't feel bad. Not that I can speak. I think he I mean, going. But he was, like, he was like, he was like, because he, he said what I said was funny. He was like, I can't feel bad. But I was like, yo, I can't really take this OD serious because. Yeah, like- or some, or some funny stuff. They had, what, smack that by, uh, yeah, by Akon playing in the, the background. I just couldn't focus on it, you know? Yeah. Like, I was like, it's too much going on right now. Bruh. I was like, but what I wound up finding out, because I think you looked at it because somebody pointed out, if you go to his joint, his TikTok, it's a comedy page. Like, he oh. says, um, now, I'm not saying he was doing this as comedy or skit, but you never Hopefully know. Hopefully it was. But regardless, it was like something, Jonathan's, whatever his joint is, comedy. And, and I was like, I, I was like, hmm. But I'm telling you that Akon smacked that plane in the background. I couldn't yeah, focus. Smack so, that plane in the background. I was, I was like, yeah, people that. that's, like the, that's like the <laughs> ultimate like opposite of what this nigga talking about, yo. And yo, the worst part to me is like, yo, I'm not saying be devoid of emotion. Like I'm very emotional. Like I be sad about a lot of stuff. Like even with situations like relationships, all that. Like woman don't come through you. Like oh, I thought she liked me. She ain't like me like that. It's okay to be hurt. My thing is just being like. Who is it? Are you even really hurt? I'm confused. Like, in any painful situation I've had in life, I've never been like, yo, let me pull my phone out and record. Like, you know, you at a funeral, you walking down the joint, and I'm just like, yo, nice. no, it would be awesome right now because I'm crying hysterically. Let me pull my phone out so I can record it for everybody else. Listen, man. I'm Shit is fucking weird, yo. The keep it as yo, that's how I that's honestly why I tweeted that thing. Like, life is starting to get like that movie, Idiocracy. Because, like, it can't be authentic at that point. Unless you're not of sound mind. It can't be authentic. Any emotional thing. Now, like, if it's something like, all right, you recording the part. We talking about, you know things personal about me. Like, somehow we get to talking about that. And I get emotional and start crying on the part. That's one thing. But for me to whip out my phone and be like, yo... First of all, this one scenario, ah. I would never put that on. Yeah. But two... No, no, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front with my pops first. I would... Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That's because we keep it real. That's because we keep it real. But I ain't gonna lie. When my pops first came on uh, with the, because remember we did the the Batman overview. Yeah, it's fantastic. Before yo, you remember when he first came on? Like we, because we recorded it first and then we had to redo mm-hmm. it because we had to adjust some yeah, things. Yeah, but he was yeah. like, yo, when he was like, I'm really proud of y'all. This that the third. You yeah, know the yeah, youngest son. I was ready to start crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was definitely ready to start crying and shit. And that's kind of different. I still yeah. probably wouldn't. No, you can post it. I would yeah, tell you, like, that, yeah, that's, post that's it. a little like, different. I love my father, yeah. yeah, I think, I yeah. think, I wouldn't. Yeah, I think you probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would say post it. Like that. That's not weak to me. It's just weird. It's narcissistic when you do it like as like I'm recording this and explaining it and then gonna act emotionally. I'm not saying don't be emotional. I'm just saying setting it up. You're you're a, you're a producer. Yes. I always say this. You gonna set up the stand and just start break I down always crying? Say this show. 
I'm not as big. I don't just take selfies and stuff. Salute to everybody. I mean, it's whatever. But yeah. I, I don't. But I always say this. If I have to hit the... Which means I don't hit the front camera joint very often. Mm-hmm. So if I ever have to hit the front camera joint, that right there tells me. If I'm emotional, let's take it easy. Bro. Yeah. Let's take a deep breath. This is an unusual, breaks. Yeah. unusual act for me. Yo. Yeah. Like, and, and, easy, and, yo. and, and if I thought in my mind to record it for social media, am I really that hurt? Or am I acting? I guess because we really do this. Like, it's like I'm in show mode right now. Hey, man, you know, salute, salute to, the, uh, to the to Ice Cube uh, variant. Shout out, bro. Hopefully but like, yo, don't, don't go out like Listen, that no more. Just bro, play please. the Carl Thomas emotional album. It, it'll probably help get you through or make you sadder, but it probably, and you know, you'll be all right from there. Yo. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you'll be all right. You, and I'm not saying it's wrong. Like, don't stand people up. I'm mean, not wrong. I'm not saying it's not wrong. Don't stand people up. It's he's he's in in line for the way he felt about this situation. Mm-hmm. It's just the way of going about it. Yeah. Like, yeah. what are we doing right now, dog? And he had a salt and pepper beard. Like this guy's probably older than us. Like I'm like, how are you even that sucked up into that world? Pause. Like like yo, you were before that. Like yo, you had somebody. Well, even if you don't got nobody, you can call. Cause I, I had plenty of dark nights in here, sad, bro, by myself, and I'm like, not once did it cross through my mind. Like, let me get on my live or record myself while I'm feeling off emotionally. That don't even cross my mind. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe we don't know anything. Maybe we know everything. I'm not the most e- o- overly emotional person. Yeah. So like, I just know I wouldn't do that. I probably yeah. had a few things where I may have posted in the past. But, like, as I've gotten, I just, I'm just not, you know, salute. Salute. You never, salute. You never Everybody's been. different. Everybody's yeah. different. Yeah. Everybody's different. I don't want to judge, but. Yeah. You got to post a slow motion video, black and white. You got to set up the lights first. Yeah. Then you got to have the Usher moving mountains playing. And then you got to cry about it, bro. I think I have my one on my joint Instagram, a probably a uh, semi-emotional joint about because I had some people pass in a year, but it was just kind of me. I was chilling in my apartment, like old my, my older joints, and uh, I think my uh, my studio, whatever. Yeah. And uh, but besides, anyway, but you weren't yeah, crying, yeah, yeah. Eh? no, nah, I wasn't. I wasn't doing that. You weren't crying. <laughs> that seems like work. Like low key, you need to go to Hollywood because they got an actor strike anyway, yo. I need y'all to go. I was more go so get just y'all vibing and just just thinking about the people and stuff like. Yeah, buddy. On some switcheroo stuff, real quick. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the last thing I gotta mention. But like, you see, you know, we've been talking about the strike on and off. You know how we feel about a lot of stuff. We ain't gonna oh. divulge too much, but I, you know, but they said um, it's getting worse, and they talking about the studios may start taking away like some of the instead of it getting better, they might start as of Tuesday, yeah, taking away some of the uh, like scratching some of the deals that they had with like writers and stuff like that. Yeah, see, Bruh, that's crazy. Yeah, I feel you, but I I think, and it's wrong. They should pay those people way more than that, especially like Mr. Johnson. I was fucked up There's about been that. Several people posting their residual checks. Yo, Mr. That'd Johnson got like what three dollars or something. I forgot it was. I might have been less than that. It was crazy. We don't know what show it's from because he didn't mention it. So Allegedly. We so we, Mr. Yeah. Johnson from Abbott Elementary, but we're not saying it's from Abbott Elementary yeah. because we don't know if he, we don't That's know which show it's man. from. Yeah. That's one of my favorite characters on yeah, the TV yeah, show yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when it was on yeah. and before break. Yeah. Before the strikes. Now. Yeah. I, I, I'm praying that they resolve that. Yeah. But yeah. I would say to all the people, like the writers and people, like if you if you have relationships with people and you have access to certain equipment and things of that nature... Sometimes you got to put it on your back, bro, and, and, and figure it out. Because, like, imagine if, like, a great director, a great acting cast, and a great writer get together, correct? Mm-hmm. We putting a movie out on YouTube or something like that, and it's really phenomenal. Now all the leverage is in your court. Like, no, we own this shit outright, dog. Let's, let's, like and I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna sell it to you, motherfuckers, and y'all gonna give me what I want. And no, it ain't gonna be like no one check. It's gonna be like, yo, I own the rights to this movie, and however much y'all copies y'all sell down the line, I'm making that chicken off you, bro. Like, let me get that money because we made that. This is our idea. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. it might backfire on the machine. You feel me? That's what I'm letting you speak because you're gonna say some of the stuff. 
eventually it could start a revolt and the talent could just it might backfire saying, on the machine wait a minute we were just signing bad deal we were doing it. we were just yeah. letting Hollywood or whoever do this and do that yeah yo we got all the talent we can and we then and then with a lot of movies personally with African American saws it always kills me when it's like it's not somebody that's of our culture that's doing it and it's like how would they even know really like yo you could be really into hip hop but like Imagine somebody that's really from a certain scenario writes a movie. You know what I mean? Like, why do you think Friday and stuff like that went so crazy? John Singleton's movie. Because it was really, it was really a man that 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 grew up in that type of atmosphere. Uh, uh, Ryan Coogler with Fruitvale Station. Yeah, that's yeah, good. yeah. Like, I couldn't tell you about uh, uh, cowboy stuff, but like, you feel me? I could tell you like what, what, some like mid. I couldn't, I couldn't. T- well, I could. Of course, where I understand there are there were like. A, I'm just taking the history of black cowboys. Yeah, that's yeah, why those, that's why those film, American that's cowboys. Why those, that's but why I'm saying something out. that's like typically not our culture. Because my brother did tell me he went to a black rodeo too in Taos, uh, in um, yeah. Texas. My brother be interested but, in that um, stuff too. Yeah. He, he be, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, if you get in authentic stories in any ethnicity from the source with good writers, because you ever see like. Uh, what was that movie with uh, Meek Mill in it and the dirt bike guys? You could tell, like... Charm City, was that what it was called? Yeah, I'm like, I don't know who directed it, but it was just like, I feel like they're not from here. But what if you start getting movies like, oh, it's a movie about Detroit, it's a movie about Baltimore, it's about XYZ here. We got writers from there that literally know everything to the soil and can give you this story. Why do you think uh, Paid in Full was so good? All okay, niggas from New York and knew the actual story. Yeah, they all from Harlem. Yeah, except for uh, they what, knew the actual story. Harris is from Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. But I think, because I think Makai Fife is from Harlem. Oh, he maybe? is. If I'm not mistaken, Cam, of course, uh, 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 of course, you know, um, Dame, and but yeah, 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 yeah. They already had knew all about that type of yeah. stuff. And yeah, but also prayers up to everybody that's losing out because I, yeah. I know that's a lot of people's. Um, Primary source of income yeah. and it's, it's really hard. It's a lot more me? working what they call working actors than the Denzel. I didn't the, realize than the 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 the, 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 the anybody. But you know what I yeah. mean? Like it's a lot more. Yeah. They kind of living like the regular person. You just see them more because they on screens, but they not. Everybody yeah. not making Will Smith and uh, let's talk about Margot yeah. Robbie yeah. on the new like they and ain't some, making all that somebody type of money. called all the big actors out for not saying nothing cause you know them dudes that's they, getting 30, 40 million a movie they ain't tripping they being a little some of them they kinda pop not really some some of them are some of them are you know I ain't seen them they said the rocker donated like the largest donation for helping ever you know how he's real political yeah. but, but he, he you know that's dope man. I mean regardless what about Will whatever. Smith what about I don't know I'm not calling nobody about else Tom Cruise I don't know I'm just I'm just talking about the dudes know, that you know he getting at I least forty million know. a movie. Like it, it ain't nothing like. No, no. Nah, I think they said uh, Will be. Smith's number was like thirty million. Like I know definitely at one point, uh, like a while ago. Real quick, my bad. I don't want to segue up. Hopefully everybody, yeah, you know I mean, because we're gonna keep talking about this because this doesn't look like it's stopping anytime soon. But yeah. you said Bad Boys Four got a release date, July fourteenth. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, July fourteenth next year. Yo. That's fire. I'm hyped for that. A lot of people hated on Bad Boys 3, but I, I enjoyed it. it. I thought it was... What else could it be with them at that it. age? I liked it. You could tell they got a little better. With, like they, they, they they made it a little less realistic because, you know, they seen all these Fast and Furious and all these movies coming out that's looking crazy. So they, they put a little extra sauce into it. But like yeah. I said before, they were way ahead of everybody before they with were. some of that blowing it, like nah, all this crazy stuff nah, happening. So they, even the they first Bad catch Boys up. was like ahead of itself. But like to follow up with two the way it was, you remember in middle school, that shit shut school. Yeah. Like I always talk. The soundtrack, cause everything. We, and we, we love John Wick 4. We always talk about that shootout scene. Yeah. Everybody stole that scene from when they went to the Jamaican the dudes' houses with the shotgun. Not live, yeah. <laughs> that was fire. I told you, Bro, I watched for the back whole joint. Then, I watched the whole joint on how they made that joint. For back then it was, was crazy. It was what was that, like 03? Yeah, I think that's about right. Oh, uh, we was in like I, I think we was like six, seventh Somewhere grade, bro. Yeah. Six or seventh that's grade. A, it's bro. around that time. Yeah. yeah, like we were kid kids, mm-hmm. bro. And I when I saw that shit, I think I and I saw it in the movies. And then once we got the DVD, I promise I'll probably watch that every no, single classic. night for like the, for like two or three weeks. It's a classic. 
Yeah, it was to the point where we knew lines, yo. Yeah, it's a certified. Even the guy that played the main villain, like the 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 like kingpin dude with the with the, and then they on the landmines at the end. I'm like, yo, this is fire. And then it's just the perfect contrast. The Playboy action type dude always want to shoot out, always want to. Speed chasing, and you got yeah. Marcus who's getting more and more calm. The yeah, family, he man, like, older. it's so tough, yo. Yeah. I'm pumped for four. Four is gonna be crazy. I'm pumped. Yeah, shout out, bad boys, four.